Hey folks, it's Harris. Um, this week's topic, uh, as you know, is uh, all about coming out. Um, and I thought I'd tell you a few stories about um, people who I've come out to in my experience, and then um, I would talk about my general thoughts about um, the whole idea of coming out and uh, my frustrations with the whole concept. So, um, but first, I wanted to show you this. Look how cool that is. Isn't that awesome? I got this. Empire. Rebels. It's a kid's notebook. And, uh, yeah, it was left over from a ton of stuff um, at the end of the school year, and I was cleaning things out, so one of my teachers gave it to me. So, awesome! Because uh, I'm a big dork. Anyway, um, okay, uh, the first person I ever came out to was, uh, a dear friend of mine. Uh, I was living in Tanzania at the time, um, and, uh, it was, a, a study abroad in 2008, and I had, um, like, the first person I ever, like, officially, like, came out to, um, and, uh, <coughs> we, uh, we were sitting around talking, and Tanzania was a place for me where I could just be myself, like, totally didn't have to think, like, oh, I have to do this, or oh, I have to do that. Um, and so we were sitting around drinking konyagi, which is this really harsh, really delicious Tanzanian alcohol. And, um, and I was just like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm bi, right? At the time, I identified as bisexual. And she was like, no. I was like, yeah. And like, she avoided the subject after that. And it came out to about half the other uh, American group that I was with. Um, and uh, got different reactions. But, but hers really um, kind of startled me. Uh, because we had been through a whole other backstory, which uh, there really isn't a place for it uh, in this blog tonight. But uh, she and I grew apart quite a bit. Um, kind of starting after that incident. Um, and that discouraged me quite a bit. Uh, when I came back to the States, um, my, uh, at the time, boyfriend, um, who I had been with for about a year, um, he, uh, sort of knew that I was not just straight, um, and so when I came back, I sat him down and I was like, okay, well, let me just lay it out for you, uh, because we've been having some troubles. And, uh, the first thing he asked was, well, does this mean we get to have a threesome? And I wanted to punch him in the face, um, uh, because... It was so frustrating that that would be the reaction from somebody who, at the time, I thought I sp wanted to spend the rest of my life with, um, that he would just instantly jump to that kind of idea. And although I, like, told him that that was frustrating for me and that I didn't want to, you know, have it be limit my sexuality be limited to, oh, let's just have threesomes, um, it still c stayed a rather, uh, sore topic. Um... Uh, I am only out with one member of my family. I kind of think that uh, some of the other members know, or perhaps guess, but I've only officially come out, um, and that's to one of my younger sisters. Um, and I told her um, she was coming to see me at college, and I was out with all of my friends at college at the time, um, or a majority of them, um, and, uh, and I didn't want her coming. Uh, to see me and stay with me for a couple nights and then have this like sprung on her unprepared. So I told her over the phone and, uh, and she was really like, okay, cool. And uh, when she got there, it wasn't a big deal. She gave me a big hug and told me she was proud of me for telling her. And, uh, and she's been a real comfort um, and uh, really nice to be able to talk to somebody who I've known for almost my entire life. For as long as I can remember, I've known her. Um, and it's, it's been very nice to be able to, uh, go to her and say, this is what's frustrating me, like, and, and she's, whether she knows it or not, like, she's, she's a huge source of wisdom, um, uh, for me, so, um, right, so those are a couple of positive couple and a couple negative, um, stories, um, that I just wanted to share with you, um, but I want to spend the rest of my couple minutes talking about why the whole idea of coming out frustrates me so much. Um, the fact that 
uh, everybody just assumes that everybody's straight until somebody says otherwise is ridiculous. Let's be real. Uh, nobody just assumes you're, you know, a Christian. Or maybe some people do, but they shouldn't. Uh, nobody just assumes, like, you know, that you, you like Star Trek. Or something like that. Just because I love Star Trek doesn't mean everybody loves Star Trek, you know? Um, and it's... It's really... Like, touchy. I don't like to sit somebody down and be like, Okay, I'm going to come up to you now. Um, I like to present it as, like, a part of my personality. Um, or just kind of, you know, with this. Or with other things that I say or do. Just have them kind of realize it. Um, so that way they know that, that it's not a big deal for me, that I can just, like, have it be part of my life. I'm queer. Great. Let's get on to other parts of my life that, you know, matter more than just my sexuality. Because I am not limited to who I fall in love with and who I have sex with. Like, that's ridiculous. <coughs> so, that's a big frustration for me. Um, the fact that um, when so many people come out, um, they're ridiculed. Uh, physically harmed, emotionally abused, like all these different things, like it's ridiculous. You know, th it would be like uh, your mom has leukemia and oh, you get tested and you can't give, so well, fuck you, now I'm gonna throw you out of the house and beat you. You know, it, this isn't something that a person controls. Um, who you love, how you love, that's not something that um, we just get to pick and choose while we're in the womb. You know, it's not like as little, you know, as a little fetus, I'm sitting there going, hmm, hmm, I wonder in 20 years who I would like to be in love. You know, that's not the way it works. We don't get to pick our eye color. We don't get to pick our skin color. We don't get to do any of those things. Um, and so when somebody is discriminated against, as is being done in so many parts of the United States and around the world, um, when somebody is... Um, assaulted when somebody when when any of those things happen based on something that n nobody can control that it disgusts me um, and so when our society has made such a big deal out of the whole process of coming out because it's there's such a stigma against homosexuality even if people don't you know, even if people think like, oh, like, gay people are great, oh, I'm in favor of gay marriage, you know, those sorts of things, do they still assume that everybody's straight? I think a lot of people do. I don't think everyone does, but I think a lot of people do. Um, even if they call themselves an ally, I think a lot of people can be very heterosexist, um, figuring that everybody lives sort of a heteronormative lifestyle. Um, so, if anything that I've said has hit home to you, um, know that I'm not saying all this stuff to be like, oh, fuck you, um, but that I'm rather saying this just to provoke some thoughts. Um, if you want to have a conversation about it, you know I'm always here. Uh, a couple of great people have uh, IM'd me and messaged me on, on Tumblr, and, and I really appreciated all of you um, saying hi. Let me know that you know you guys are watching, that what I'm saying is helping, like all those sorts of things. Uh, so, if you guys have any questions or, or frustrations about what I've said tonight or, or stories of your own that you'd like to share, um, let me know and, uh, and I'll throw them out there. Um, I will be typing up a summary of what uh, I just talked about and I'll be posting that on the Tumblr um, for everybody and I'll post a link to that post um, in the description of the YouTube video once I'm finished with it. So. Have a good night, everybody. I love you, and uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.